Hi, Jean. Hello, Catherine. <laughs> thank you for joining us. And thank you for all of our viewers and followers that are here today. Um, once again, we are joined by Jeannie Corrigal, one of the teachers that will be leading the online program called Touching the Earth. My name is Catherine and I re represent IMS Online. I'm one of the program managers of this amazing program. And I'm gonna hand it off to Jeannie. We'll be going back and forth with some questions. And if you, our viewers, have some questions, please put it in the comment. We'll try to get through um, the questions and um, let's get started. Thank you again for everyone being here today. We're just gonna talk about the program called, called Touching the Earth. So Jeannie, can you um, let us know what inspired you to develop this program? Oh, Catherine, thanks for the question. And that goes straight to my happy heart. You know, what inspired it is just my love for nature. And I, I suspect that many people who are connecting in now have this love for nature and how it can connect us, can't it, to a sense of something larger than ourselves. Help us loosen a little a bit of a sense of our tight, tight, tight kind of solid self. I know that everyone here knows this teaching and it's this freedom that really inspired me to want to do this this course. That's amazing. I could see all the little hearts flying up. Can you? <laughs> I see them too. <laughs> um, thank you for all the love for everyone out there. Um, so you, you mentioned nature. So can you um, describe some of the things that will be coming up um, for this program? Mm -hmm. Yes. We're going to begin with nature as refuge and nature as a reciprocal relationship so that we can relate with nature as a Sangha member, as a community. You know, indigenous language will speak about the tree behind me as who is this tree? Who is this being? And this is what we want to cultivate is our relationship with nature, both our inner nature and what we call outer nature, and this, this relationship of connection, inner, outer. Oh, and beautiful. Of refuge, of refuge, how this can be a refuge for us. Also, other themes are how nature is our teacher, our teacher of awakening, awakening into, into freedom, into the, the true nature of how things are and that we are a part of this process of, that we call life. Yes, so those are some of the themes. That's beautiful, Jeannie. You mentioned um, our inner and our outer environment, nature and our refuge. Um, and I see that you're in your outer <laughs> your environment <laughs> there. <laughs> so would you like to share a little bit? <laughs> I am. You know, a major part of the program, Catherine, is that we're going to invite people, of course, to be outside or in connection with nature, which might mean you're inside looking out a window or you're inside with your plants or you're inside, yes, your gorgeous plant, or you're inside with even your memory of nature, which is how the Buddha, one of the major practices of the Buddha he remembered a time in nature where he felt at ease. He felt freedom. And that memory inspired him. And so I'm outside in, in celebration of this. And we're going to invite people or we're going to invite us to be in relationship with nature in every season. And so it happens to be the tail end of winter where I am here in Saskatchewan in Canada and I am dressed up I've got four layers on and you know what it reminds me Catherine of one of my the, many years ago I was uh, at IMS on a six-week retreat and I took all my warm clothes and in the morning I would get up put all my clothes on and go out in those snowy woods and that's how I would begin the day and so we're going to invite people to be outside if they can, 
If not, it's not a problem. This can be done inside, but I'm outside today. And one of the things that we'll do is invite people to find a nest, a place that just feels good for you. And this again could be inside in your imagination, but I'm in front of this beloved spruce tree. And this is for me, one of my nests, one of the places I just, there's something that I just feel my being settles a little bit, especially when I'm underneath that spruce tree. So yeah, I'm outside and connecting. Oh, that's beautiful. Um, for any of you that are just joining in, thank you for being here. Um, someone mentioned they love walking in the snow, the rain and the sun. Um, Jack beautiful. has one mentioned in my hammock. Oh, thanks. Um, so if anybody else wants to put in the comments what um, your nest is, please feel free to share. Thank you all for being here. Once again, we are talking about Touching the Earth, an online program led by Jeannie Corrigal and Young O. It starts on April 19th. So um, is this program available to... Um, all experience levels of students from beginners to more seasoned Absol practitioners. <laughs> Thank you for asking, Catherine. Absolutely. All you need to have is an interest and a curiosity in connecting with nature. That's beautiful. Everyone's welcome. Awesome. And you know, so it sounds uh, um, accessible. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. And we'll, we'll give all the kind of guidance that we need to connect. Yeah. You know Beautiful. what? I love, I love what people are putting in the chat. And as you mentioned, Catherine, you invited people to put in the chat what their nests are, you know, where their special spots are. And that would be beautiful. And I have another question for them if you're open to that. Yes, absolutely. And that is, what do you feel like when you're in that special spot? What is your Ooh, special spot? And what do you feel? I have somebody, Danny Sakoff. Apologies if I'm not pronouncing that correctly. This person says, I love reading through nature, pushing through cement when I feel stuck in the city. Mm -hmm. um, Steven saying hello from Ecuador. <laughs> so welcome, friends. Thank you for being here. Um, if you missed what Jeannie asked, she said, um, she asked the question, what do you feel like? when you're out in nature. Judy, I don't know if you can see the comments on the bottom. Jack Hatz says supported and so cozy and at home. Beautiful, thanks Jack Hatz for your response. Yeah. yeah. Amy Witt says, I love my backyard with my trees. Mm. I feel love, connected and free. Beautiful, thank you for sharing that. Oh, friends, this is, the, this is the universal heart that we are going to settle into and explore together. It's present right here. We, we're in it right now. Wonderful. Sandy Lambert mentions they are connected. Beautiful. Mm -hmm. Zen Buddhahood, I feel home and a sense of belonging. Friends, this is it. Love, love. So anybody who's just coming in, um, us, we at IMS, Insight Meditation Society, are joined by Jeannie Corrigal. She's one of the teachers that will be leading. Um, Touching the Earth is an online program that begins in about a week on April 19th. Winter sun complete. Thank you. <laughs> Jeannie posed the question, what do you feel like when you are in your nest or you're out in nature or what is your nest? So thank you for all that's responded so far. So just some, um, maybe a preview, uh, what can students expect um, as far as assignments go for this program? You know, there will be some reading and some short videos to connect us to our innate connection to nature, our innate capacity to 
connect with the qualities of heart and mind that are coming up on the screen. So there will be some readings and short videos that I feel will be very engaging. And in addition to that, friends, the most, I think, most important home reflection is that we'll be inviting you to go outside and connect in your own way. Whether that's walking around the block in the city and connecting, as we heard earlier, just with the plants that are coming through the cement or the trees in the city or the grass or whoever is We want to connect in that way. And then we'll be asking you to know, just notice what it feels like. And over the, over the 10 months, we'll be deepening into that relationship of reciprocity and noticing the gifts that arise. So the major homework is to spend time in relationship with nature and then noticing that. And then we'll have a discussion board or a discussion place uh, that Catherine is likely to be involved with, there, where you can post uh, images, um, experiences that you have, pictures that you might have, drawings that you might make, poetry that you might write or that inspires you, so that we can build a collective sense together of this refuge in relationship and this sense of awakening. So it'll be quite experiential. Does that make sense, Catherine? I love in terms it. I of love homework? that aspect. It does make sense, and I love and that each aspect week with the... about community. Yeah, thank you for picking up on that. We our 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 wish is to cultivate uh, a community amongst those of us in the program and the larger sangha of nature that we are a part of. And so we want to bring nature, we want to understand our belonging in the Sangha, in the community of nature. And so the community is wide, wide. One of the first things love we'll it, do is it. ask um, everyone to invite We'll be inviting nature I in as an Can ancestor, as a member. We'll be inviting people in. One of the very first things we'll do is have people call in, in a way, their community, their ancestor, their nature being to be with us in community in our very first class. And so we'll create, we'll call in our community right from the beginning. I can feel it already, Catherine. I feel excited about this Sangha, this community that we'll cultivate together. I am too. Um, I play a very small part in this journey, um, supporting everyone um, online, um, tech-wise. <laughs> so, That's a big um, part, Catherine. I want to really, really celebrate you and really thank you. And, and I'll tell everyone what I tell all the time. I feel like you are our are, are deva. You know, Aww. there are nature, nature spirits or devas that are helpful nature spirits and they're kind of uh, always there to support if needed and they're lovely, friendly, loving spirits. And Catherine, that's my image of you. Oh, that's so <laughs> humbling and honoring. Thanks, GD. <laughs> so for anyone who's just coming on, we are here with Jeannie Corrigal. She's one of the teachers. Um, that will be leading Touching the Earth. It's an online program that begins on April 19th. And like she said, we're going to be building a community and once, and we kind of have like a cohort or a group of students that will be um, I'm taking this journey together for four seasons. Um, and it'll be quite beautiful and I'm sure very transformative. Um, for everyone involved. Um, so Jeannie, would you be okay with maybe sharing a little glimpse or maybe like a one minute or so meditation or got something guided to give our participants here a little preview of what they might expect? Does that feel okay to you? You bet. Um, actually, what I would like to ask then is, to do a little guided preview is to ask everyone 
to feel into your a special place for you in nature. Feel into that. And imagine yourself there. And sense how your feet feel on the earth. Sense what your body might be feeling supported by the earth. Are you leaning against a tree or a boulder? What are you smelling? And this place could be a place in your local park. Could be a place that you know by the beach. A place by the ocean or the forest or the mountain. What are you smelling there? The scent of the salt? the scent of the spruce. And what are you feeling? Is the air crispy? Is it soft? Is there a breeze? And then what are you seeing? Is it a water, a body of water, a mountain, a sky? Birds flying by, leaves rustling in the trees, just sensing yourself settled back, just watching who's passing, what you're feeling, sensing. Sensing what that's like. And sensing your breath inside your body. The breath leaving, moving and connecting with all the green beings, breathing together with every green being around you. Just breathing together with all the beings around you. Every green being and every human being and animal all breathing with you. Just resting back. Just sensing what it is that you feel in the heart in this resting back place. What does it feel like to be in this place, this nature place, even in your imagination? And sensing the breath. And then sensing other parts of your internal experience also. Thoughts that pass like clouds in the sky. Emotions that might be softer or more subtle like the light or shadow on the lake. Sensations in your body like ripples on the waves. Your internal nature and external nature. No separation. I'm just sensing if you can find one word about what that feels like. that one word and sharing it in the chat. Staying connected as best you can as you open your eyes to that sense of resting back.
just continuing to abide there. In that place. And we can abide, continue to abide in this sense of connection just by remembering this special place. And then we can carry this sense with us into our day. And so if you have a word about what it feels like to connect in this way. Feel free to put that in the chat. Well, I certainly feel more grounded and calm. Mm -hmm. I love how we can be in meditation or a felt sense uh, or, or place, you know, and maybe instantaneously, I hate to use that word. Um, thank you, Amy, which says supported, um, feel grounded and rooted. Uh, so that, that uh, guided meditation was very powerful. Thank you for sharing that mm -hmm. and a little sneak peek of what um, participants can expect in the Touch in Your program. So thanks. Mm -hmm. So if anybody else um, that's just coming in, this is Jeannie Cargill. She is one of the teachers along with Young O um, that are leading Touching the Earth. It's an online program that begins April 19th. Um, please feel free to put any questions or comments in the chat. Um, we'd love to engage with you. And, and hear your, your thoughts and your ideas or questions and try the best we can to um, respond. Um, Jeannie, do you have anything else that you'd like to share about the program that might be beneficial to um, our participants here today? Well, you know, I, I would love actually just to go underneath that tree, underneath my oh. <laughs> and show you my little nest. Yes. That Is that great. okay? Yes, please. All right. Okay, here I go. <laughs> I'm going to switch the camera. Oh. Just underneath here. Oh, hey, Jeannie. <laughs> She's back, <laughs> meaning that it's very involved with nature. I was just telling people that might have just tuned in what touching the earth is. Somebody had asked that question um, in the comment area. So I see that you are in another area of your establishment. <laughs> I am. So thank you for sharing that aspect of, of you. Um, so tell us about that, where you're at. Well, I'm just in front of a picture on the wall right now. It's a dragonfly. It's a poster of a dragonfly wing. And so one of the things that I wanted to share was that we can connect with nature in so many ways inside our homes through images, pictures, a color. And just by looking at a picture that we enjoy, this can connect us to the refuge of nature. And so this can be a very accessible program in that way. We do not need to go to the, uh, you know, on to a special place. We do not need to go on a big holiday to the seaside uh, to a special chalet in the mountains. This touching the earth is touching the earth in our own nature, in our own being, right where we are, and uh, teaching us that 
nature, the gifts of nature, uh, the, what we call the external nature is our great teacher, but that the gifts are in our own being. The great teacher helps us to understand that we are a part of this great teaching. There's no way we can be separate. And so we're remembering and waking up our own, the, the, the understanding, the remembrance of our own connection and belonging to this understanding. Thank you. That was beautiful. It, it's, um, it's very accessible. It's a reminder that we have this all within us. Yeah. You know, we don't need to go far. We just no. need to remember and recall and kind of, mm -hmm. um, it'll be brought up, maybe refreshed mm -hmm. um, as people uh, move through this program. Yeah. So we're going to wrap up here. Um, and I just wanted to say a big thanks to Jeannie, especially, and IMS, Insight Meditation Society, and all of you that were able to join us on the call. Um, Jeannie, especially, for inviting us into your, your home, essentially, <laughs> um, and sharing so many aspects of it. Um, thank you so much. Jeannie, is there anything you'd like to um, share me before we log off? Oh, well, just such a, what a huge pleasure it is to have been here with you, Catherine, and to be with everyone who's on the call. And a gratitude, a huge gratitude, because every time I get to touch into this teaching like this with you all, it deepens in my own heart. And so a huge gratitude uh, to this, to, for this opportunity. Thank you. It was so good seeing you. Thank you to everyone that came. Um, and namaste. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so we meet again. Till we Bye. meet again. Bye-bye <laughs> for now. Bye, friends. <laughs>